This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. Hi, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? <laughs> 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 yeah, check that intro out. Can you dig it? Hey, go ahead, Bats, Hector. Copy me now. This is this is called smoke. <laughs> you look like you're on Masterpiece Theater. I am. This is Masterpiece Theater. Figured out this stuff like this. It's a challenge. All right. Here we go, guys. What's this? Part 16, 2003 Jeep Liberty sport 3.7 rebuilding this engine i got my you know how uh they got the cat in their lap i don't have a cat i got jack sparrow hey jack hmm, 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 hmm. hey jack feeling what here hmm, hmm. <laughs> that's a mutt <laughs> that's a spoiled old mutt all right guys you, we already know about part uh, 14 and 15, about the select fit bearings. We've installed them, got everything back together. We are back on track. Today, we're going to show you how to, well, we're not going to show you. We're going to be replacing, putting on the cylinder heads. And, <clears throat> and talking them down. Boy, these, are, these pretzels are dry. Man. I, I like chips. Give me some chips. Anyway, there's some special procedures I'm important. Because of the oil and fat in it? That's why you like the chips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, anywho, <laughs> there's some important uh, steps you want to make sure you follow in this procedure because you will, you will, I didn't say you might, you will mess up your cylinder heads or the head bolts if you don't follow your procedure. All right? Let's get right to it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Let's start off from the beginning of, over, or the end over here. Over here, we have our brand new uh, lifters that we're going to be installing. They've been soaking in oil to bleed out any kind of air into them. Here we have our rockers. Three of them was I wasn't sure about, so we got three new ones anyway. We're going to get those. Here's our cylinder heads. Uh, all our caps to the camshafts are all loose. We're going to take those off. We're going to take put the cams on last. And then toward the end, got my pretzels. Your pretzels? My pretzels. And we got both head gaskets. Brand new head gaskets. Alright, the first thing we'll do is let's go over here to our engine. You gotta, you gotta do this now. This is one of them important steps I'll tell you about. Each hole where the bolt goes through, you want to take some air and you want to blow that out. Where is it? Come on. So get you an air blower or something. Now I'm gonna do this side over here, and you put the you put the whole put the uh, air thing in there, and blow it out. Do each one, okay? So let's do that, and then we'll be right back. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you why I'm doing this. I don't know, cause feel I like cause it. I feel like it. <laughs> nah, any kind of dirt, grime, or anything in these holes that will stop that bolt from talking down. You do not want it in there. It will mess you up. You get oil leaking or antifreeze leaking right out of the head gaskets. All right. Now you know. Let's get this done. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We are ready. Here's our brand new head gaskets on this vehicle. Both head gaskets are identical. These are metal, multi-layered metal uh, head gaskets. I ain't too particular about them, but good. All right. Also, very important, guys. We got here brand new set of head bolts. You definitely want to get head bolts. Reason why. When you talk heads down, even though you can't see it, these bolts actually stretch and twist. And when you go to torque them down, you do not get the proper torque uh, specs on it. So definitely, if you can, if they're available, I don't care what, get you some new head bolts. Do not 
take a chance and have them redo this job or, or a head gasket job just because you want it to be cheap. Cheap to make cheapskate. All right, so let's go get our head gaskets and set them over there. Be right back. All right, we got our, you see our two dowel pins right here? Or they call locating pins. What we're gonna do is take one of our head gaskets, set it up there, set it onto them dowel pins, push it down. And they're made, the, the holes on these gaskets are made a little bit small so you can push down on it and it'll keep that head gasket right in place. It won't blow, blow away or come go away or something. All right, let's go to the other side. Set this one on. Great. Now you can see, like, see how the head gasket sticks out of here, over here, like, what the heck, man, something wrong. We got the wrong head gasket over here. Now if you look up under there, you'll actually see the indentation where the old head gasket was. But you'll see that, don't worry about it. You're good, you're good, everything's good. Alright. Okay, let's go get one of the cylinder heads. We'll be right back. Alright guys, let's go over there. Let's take uh this is our right cylinder head. But just don't just don't throw the head up there and try to move it around and all that. You know, try your best to get it located right where it's supposed to be. Okay, great. Now our dowel pins are holding this into place. And if you're not comfortable with this, what you can always do, see our engine hoist, our uh, engine stand, we can rotate it. Just a little bit. I'm scared, Jack. I'm scared, Jack. Yeah. Too loud. Try to get this thing to line up right here. This thing. There we go. So now, we got this cylinder head up in the air. Looks like a four cylinder when you do it that way. <laughs> and that's ready to go. Now, let's get our new head bolts and I want you to get some motor oil. That's right, I said some motor oil. We'll be right back. All right, dag nabbits, check it out. This is what we're gonna do next. <laughs> now, here's our new head bolts. We got our head bolts over here. Now, these four, this, this step I'm about to show you now, these four you don't have to worry about. They have seal on them. Don't have to worry about those four. But these right here, if you ever did um, head gaskets on a car, sometimes you go to tighten it down, you go to torque it, and all of a sudden the bolt will squeak and it'll, and it'll, it'll throw your torque off. That's because you, do, you did not lubricate the threads. You're supposed to lubricate, put a thin layer of oil, a thin coating of oil on the threads, and that'll stop that from doing that. So what we got here, we got some cheap motor oil. And let's see what I'm gonna do here. Is take the bolt, lean to the side, dip it in, just coat the, the threading, put the bolts in, start it by a couple threads. Let's get, do that again. And these are 14 millimeter bolts. So if you want, I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter shallow socket. I'm sorry, 15 millimeter. Is this a 15 millimeter? Wow. And a long extension, about a 12 inch extension. I'm gonna just put them in a little bit, just like that. Now let's continue on and put the other long bolts in. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I got all the bolt, all the four bolts in. I don't got the little ones in yet. Now what I'm gonna do is take my cordless drill and I put my 3 8 adapter up there. And what I'm doing here, I'm not tightening them up. 
I'm just going to bring these both down until they stop. And when you do that, you want to go in a pattern. You want to start from the center four and work your out. Okay, just in case the head is warped or something, if you didn't check the head, you want to do that so it tightens up the center and then works its way out. You don't want to tighten it up. If the head is like this, you want to tighten it up from the center and then work its way out. Like that, work its way out. You don't want to tighten up from the outside because you tighten up from the outside and when you go to tighten up the inside, you're going to create that gap right there. It will never go down. All right, so we're going to do is tighten up like this, then go across to here. I'm just down till they stop. Not just down till it stops barely. Now you got the four center. Now we're gonna work our way out to the outside. got that done now what I'm gonna do take two of the 10 millimeter bolts I'm gonna put them right over here they go on the cylinder head over here I'm just putting them in by a little bit by hand now if you look down inside the engine inside the head you'll see the other spots where the other two go to so you maybe wonder like okay how the heck do we get down there and put those bolts down there? All right, I'm using an extension with a 10 millimeter, three H drive. And what I want to grab here, it's a little piece of plastic. And you want to put it right there just to hold the bolt in place. And then you want to lower it down in there start that by a couple threads and you got to just go in here and reach in there and take that plastic out of there and actually right as a matter of fact what I can do if I think I can reach up here nah too much <laughs> about to reach up there and put the other bolt in so now what I'm gonna do is go over here and do the same procedure to the other bolt and it looks like I have to move this bolt right here that holds in the guide Okay, put that down, put in by a few threads, and that's it, get our plastic out of the way, put this back just in case we don't lose it. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is torque down these bolts, alright, let's get the torque sequence and we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're going to torque this down and Sylvia's going to tell us what we got to do. Alright, now before she begins. Check this out, if you guys can see the bolts, we got eight bolts on the cylinder head. So, we're gonna be starting from the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna just start from the center, that's cool. And then you got the four out here, nine, 10. Those two will go together, gonna be nine, 10, and then 11, and then 12. All right, let's go, I'm ready. Okay, step one, bolts one through eight. 20 foot pounds. All right, I got my torque wrench already set. Oh, no, I don't. What the heck, man? 20 foot pounds. Let's go ahead, and what we're going to do is go ahead till they, till it clicks. One, two. Three, four, five, Six. Let's go up here to this one. Seven. 
and eight. Okay. Then they want you to repeat step one without loosening bolts. Okay. Is that to make sure that you get make it sure. right? Make sure. Yeah, and actually check this out. Because actually when I go to tighten this up, watch. It's not torqued down to 20, 24 pounds no more. Why is because that? because I tightened all of them down and brought that head down, the original ones become loose now. one okay next step step two bolts nine through twelve is ten foot pounds okay my ratchet don't go down to ten foot pounds so I'm going to my little quarter inch one inch foot pound inch foot inch pounds and uh oh inch pounds yeah <laughs> inch. Inch foot. so that would be what a hundred and twenty yeah let me, I gotta bring these down. I should have brought these down, but you know, it's okay. Okay, there's one. Then I'm gonna go two to over here. And then I'm going to go three and then four. So let's get those done and we'll be right back. You know, guys, to show you what I'm, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to bring these down to close. So then you don't have to sit here and see me do all that. And then we're going to talk those together. All right, we'll be right back. All right, I brought them down. Now, this is the number one where I started at. Let's make sure. Okay, let's go out to this one now. here and last but not least the one down in here just make sure this one right here okay step three bolts one through eight tighten 90 degrees yeah. Okay, 90 degrees. So what I got here is my half inch drive ratchet, four and a quarter inch, half inch drive extension, and my 15 millimeter shallow socket. Now, uh, when you do degrees, check this out. Here's the ratchet. That'll be zero degrees right there. If I go all the way around, that's 360 degrees. So, 90 degrees, better yet, better, you know what, better yet, it's like a clock. 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock is 90 degrees, 6 o'clock is 180 degrees, and so on. So we gotta go uh, 90 degrees, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is start off on our number one bolt here, and I can see where my wrench my my ratchet is right here so i know it's got to be right here to be completed so go ahead bring that down 90 degrees and you get you'll get good at this guys i mean right now the engine is facing this way and my ratchet's a little bit off but that's still i know my 90 degrees is going to be right about here okay Okay. Okay. 
Okay, um, repeat folds uh, one through eight, another 90 degrees. Man, man, what? Oh, goodness, man, that's some. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, and just to let you know guys what I'm doing here, if you look down here, I got my foot holding the, um, the engine stand so it don't move. Make sure you do that or have somebody hold the engine. Okay, good. Okay, last step. Folks, 9 through 12, 19 foot pounds. Okay, 19 foot pounds. Cool. Guess I can go back to my original ratchet here. And I uh, need an extension, a 10 millimeter. Where did I put that at? Right here. Is that it? No. no let's see. Where the heck is it? So. Alright guys, let me get let me go get my ratchet and all this extension and I'll be right back. Alright, I found it finally. Okay, let's go in here. Yeah, you found it? Where was it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why you gotta do that to me on camera? Why can't you do that to mess when I'm off camera? I did! <laughs> Hey, it's Phil. One. How do you know who that was? Two. I know my neighbors. But there's two of them. How I do you know, know that voice? Oh, I'm just asking. Okay, what's next? That's it. That is it. Guys, this cylinder head is torqued down with no problem, no issues. So next what we're going to do, um, and we're not going to bore you, let you having to sit here and watch us do this again. Now we're gonna rotate the engine to this side, and we're gonna get our other cylinder head, put it on, and bolt it up and torque it down. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are looking great. Look at this engine come together. It's starting to look like an engine right now. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we got our camshafts. And what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna take our camshafts off. And you see I got my cart set up so I can go on each side. And we're gonna take our caps. And your caps, if we look at them, the caps are numbered. Four, three, two, and one. All right. So we'll make sure that we put those caps back where they go. And they got little arrows on them to show you forward. They go toward, face toward the front of the engine. So you can't really screw it up. Well, no. you could if you're not paying attention. Yeah, I'm dirt bag mechanics out there, they screw it up all the time. Okay. So, so we got that off. We're gonna take our cam off. We're gonna set it down. And got our caps lined up right with it. Now we're gonna do the other side and we'll be right back. All right guys, now it's time to install our new lifters. But before we do that, Take me a nice little clean rag and just wipe inside. Make sure no dirt or nothing get inside those journals on both sides. Now, remember we let our remember we let our lifters soak in oil, brand new lifters. So we got six on each side. And you take them out and you set them right in. It don't matter if the oil comes out, 
that's okay. Just like that. Brand new lifters. I really believe this was, dang it, the issue with this vehicle. The lifters sunk, caused the valves to not open up. No oil because of low oil pressure and all that. That's why we got a new oil pump and all that. All right, come over here. And do the same thing. All right, let's get the rest of these installed and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are looking good. The next thing we'll do while we're here, everything is going quick. Let's get our chains, guides, and everything, our tensioner in here. The first thing we'll do, let's work on our right side. And this is very important. Remember, I left all the bolts in there uh, so we can reassemble this. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over here to the engine. I mean, to our back of our cart. Uh, cart, whatever you want to call it. And what I did was when we took... Yeah, this is our bench. Yeah, that's good. What we did, remember, when we took this job apart, we took everything off the left side and we marked the box left. And we did the same thing to the right. So now, that's all we got. We got a whole bunch of kit with a bunch of junk. And we're going to put this back together. So, let me get this out of the way. Can you at least help me catch this garbage flying around? Sure. It could. Yeah, okay. All right. So, we got our old ones here. First, we got one of the guides. And these things, these things are all messed up and raggedy looking. Okay, we got one right here that matches, so we're good with that. And here's our other one. And we notice this one, it says RF. What that stands for? Mm. Uh. You know, don't be giving me that. You haven't been around me that long not to know what that means. Right front. That's right. Everybody else should have got it too. All right, so we know that's going to be the right side, and this is going to be facing out in the front. So we're going to take our other one and do the, and match it up. Now, check this out. You be like, okay, Tim, but say if uh, like aftermarket ones don't have right front or nothing mark on it which this one don't <laughs> so how do you know which one easy on the right front you look at it at it look at it flat like that and you see how this uh piece protrudes out right here the other side don't do that so put it like that there you go that's how it's gonna go all right so let's uh i don't know Take something. Let's be right back. No, let's take this one over here, over there. Be right back. No, I don't want to be right back. Let's be right no, back. No, why? That ain't my problem. Your battery going dead. You should have had a battery in there. <sighs> All right, fine. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do it. Remember this uh, gear up here. You want to make sure your mark in there is lined up down there to the balance shaft, the little dot. Make sure that's lined up. You saw that? Mm -hmm. All right. Now the next thing we're gonna do is. We're going to store, sit here and put our tensioner in. And you got to be careful because right now we're working on the right side. Oh, yeah. It's very important. You got to do the right side first because you notice there are two, two, two gears right here. And you got to work with the inside one first. Don't make, you can't put the outside chain on then go in there and put the inside one. You got to start with the inside. And that's going to be the one to the right. Okay. First thing we're going to do is get our right side tensioner. And you can see it's marked. Arr right we'll make sure that's nice and clean and it's gonna set up just like that let's get our two bolts set them in place I don't have to tighten them up yet all right now on the bottom I'm gonna show you this one up here it's easy to show you there's a mark right there. See a little dot? That's where your chain mark. That's going to be for that chain. Now on the other side, there's a little, another mark right inside there that we marked from before. And that's going to be the one for this side. But we're not worrying about that yet either. The next thing we're going to do is let's set one of our guides down. We're going to set the guide here that the, that the uh, tensioner rides on. 
Now in order to set that in, we got this Torx bolt up here. Inside here, we gotta take that off. Lower this down, and it's gonna rest right on top. Top of the tensioner, right there. Then, we're gonna go over here. Whoops. Put our bolt in there. Get that started by a couple threads. I should have got the socket already. All right, that's one. Lined up just like that. Don't pull this out yet. We are not ready for that. What if I want to? Then you gonna be you gonna be doing that. You don't be messing with that thing. All right. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our chain. And that chain's gonna have two marks on it. One with two links that's the same color, and on the other side of it, one. The one with the one. That's gonna be out here. So what you're gonna do, just blow our chain down in there some kind of way. I don't know, what the heck. That looks complicated. It is. All right, now, what you wanna do here, we're working with the gear in the back. So that mark that's on the back on the gear, that's got to go between both of those marks. So what we're going to do is put it on and line up. Nope, that's off. Okay. Dang it! Mm -hmm. Is that your bed? Yeah, my fingers. Oh. Yeah. Help your butt out. Don't try to help me out. I don't need no help. Okay, I can leave. That's cool. Okay. All right, we want to make sure that tooth. It's going right between those marks. Great. That's perfect. That is lined up perfect. All right. Going to lean that out to the side because we don't need that no more. The next thing we're going to do, take off this big bolt in the front, bring it to the, down to the side, and we got a, a bolt inside there. Take that bolt out. Dang, how long did I put that bolt in there? Alright, now we got this bolt up here. We're gonna take out. Okay. Now we're gonna set our other one in. Now remember, right front. Dang it. Okay. Right front. So, we look at it, and that's how it's got to go inside there. So, what we're going to do here is bring that down, put the bolt inside. Now, this this one will shift. See how it slides? So then we get that going in there. A little bit, get our other bolt, line up into there, and let's get our socket on. We're gonna start putting those in. We'll be right back. All right, guys, girls, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna tighten up all the bolts we have. Okay, we have a 13, 13, 13, and 13. I think, I think. All right, let's see. Okay, we got 13 millimeter. I got my 13 millimeter shallow socket, and I'm using a long extension. You don't have to use such a long extension, but that's what I'm using. Where's my ratchet? Alright, and when you tighten these up, like on the tensioner, what you're going to do is bring it in, tighten them up evenly. And you're going to go till it stops, 
and just to snug up a little bit more. And that's the same thing you're gonna do to the tension to the uh, guide bolts. All right, so let's get that done. Now, matter of fact, it's like I was uh, saying, this one over here, no, this one's a 13 too. The bottom one, that's a Torx, and that's a T40, all right? So, uh, tighten it up. Use your T40 to get that, all right? Let's get that done, and we'll be right back. All right, we got those tightened up, and what we did, look at it, check this out. We took a tie strap and put it over here just to keep that chain over here without dropping, without, especially without coming off the uh, timing mark. All right, the next thing we do, let's move everything, move all our tools and everything over, because now we're gonna put on the other side. All right, I'll be right back. All right, now we're on the left side. The first thing we're gonna do, just like before, we're gonna get our tensioner uh, put on here. Tensioner mounts up to here. Um, now remember the, the, well not remember, but here's our old, tensioner right here even though it just looks like a flat piece goes mounted up against the the block there is actually a plate right between there and you can see the new one has that plate you want to make sure that plate is definitely lined up with the two holes let's get our 13 millimeter mounting bolts and the tensioner we make sure it's facing downward. Facing upward, it's not going to do you a bit of good. All right, that is great. The next thing we're going to do is we got our one of the guides that goes up against the tensioner and it's held on by this Torx. bolt right here 40 Torx so we're gonna lay that down in there put our bolt in and let that rest just like that now for the last part we have the bottom one left front so it's the left side and it goes to the front so it goes just like that now we look at that little part that protruding out right there. We get our new one. Hey. Okay, we get our new one. It goes like that. Match that up so I know perfect. So I know they're going to go just like that. Let's take our two bolts out. We can get them in there. Take our other bolt. Bring that down. Now this thing slides. This this gear in here will slide. So we gotta make sure we get that. We can line that up perfectly. And this thing won't line up. It sucks. Bring it back all the way back as far as it'll go. Then let's get this down there. Let's get our socket gear, tighten those up. Be right back. All right, we got it all tightened up. The next thing we're gonna do, we got this little cap right here. Put a little oil around the oil, the seal. And we're gonna pop that right inside there. Ah, perfect. All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna do, let's get our other chain. And get this chain through there. All right, get our marks. Lined up 
right between the two, just like that. All right, come up. And we're gonna get our wire tie and tie it up, our tie strap and tie it up around here some kind of way. I have no idea right now how, where are we gonna tie it to? Huh. I might just get two of them or something. Better yet. Let's go through here, through there. Like we through there. There we go. That's good enough. Alright, tie this up. We'll be right back. Alright guys, the next thing we're gonna do, let's take off our harmonic balancer bolt. And what we're gonna do is put the oil pump in there back in there from last time and remember see how the crankshaft has a flat side right there it has a flat side on the other side you got to make sure the oil pump drive goes in there and you got to make sure that drive is going to be lined up and it's not going to be you got to turn that just a little tad bit get in there And push that on. Perfect. Look at that, man. Let's put this, put this bolt back in there. Okay. Next, we have another bolt here. We got three bolts holding this on. This one we can put in and start that. But then we're going to have to, for the other two, we're going to have to take this bolt back out right here. Because you can see, it mounts up. Just like that. Alright, so we're going to take this bolt back out. And get this um, tensioner in there. We'll be right back. Alright guys, this is cool. We got the bolts, the uh, three 10 millimeter tightened up. And a 13 millimeter up there. Next one, we'll put my cam gear on. My crank gear. And it's got a little dot on it. So that dot is going to be facing to the bottom. So, I mean, it don't matter right now, but we, you're going to be end up having to put that in, put that up there later on. All right, we're going to slide that on. That's set to put our other chain on. But before we do that, we're going to go up here to the top. And we got a bolt. This big bolt right here. This goes in there. And we got to tighten that up. And... That is a 29 millimeter. We're using a 29, 29 millimeter half inch drive. And I just want to bring it up just like that. Notice I didn't really hit it with the gun because that is aluminum. So then I'm gonna just take my ratchet and tighten that up. Great. Put our bolt back in there. And we are set. Be like, all right. Set to do what? <laughs> I have no idea. I think right now what we're going to do is let's go over this side. And we're going to set this cam. Actually set our rockers on and then set our cam in. So let's get our rockers and set them in. We'll be right back. Oh, we ready? Oh, I ain't here going. I don't know. All right. We got our new rockers. We got new, new rockers right here because I wanted to change them from... Uh, I think it was the first three cylinders they had came off. And you want to make sure that the part that has a little ball, recessed ball inside there, make sure that's going on to the lifter. Don't mess up and do this. Oh, you're in some deep trouble. You're not going to get no oil pressure is going to mess up. And each one is opposite. Okay, you got one right here, up here, down there, up there. So you want to make sure that you set those right. And okay, that is great. The next thing we do, we got our new, I mean not new, kind of camshaft over here. And we got a new gears to go on the top. So we're going to go over here and change these. So bring this to the side. Here's our new one right here. 
And what we're going to do, you want to make sure you, I'm going to use a pair of vice grips. You do not use vice grips to grab on that journal, that journal, that journal, or whatever. You can, you can grab on to the outsides right here where nothing's going at. And it's preferably to try to grab as, grab as close as to the gear as possible instead of way back here because a good chance of twisting this cam can break. So, let's get us a vice grips, hook that up, and buzz this off. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Got my vice grips locked on to the cam. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight. Got my 15 millimeter with my air gun here. Buzz that, buzz that right off, no problem whatsoever. Just take that off with to make sure the washer too. Open up our nice brand new one. And you see how the inside is, see how it's set like that? What, what do you think about it? Like an hourglass? Oh, Mr. Peanut. A keyhole. Yeah. All right. On it's the front of the camshaft. Yeah, something like that. I don't know why. I don't know. You got a little a, a little pip, that little tip that cup sticks out right there. You want to make sure that is on there, just like that. Get our bolt in there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm bringing this all the way in by hand, so I don't want to take no chance. And that thing vibrating when I'm tightening it down. Messing up. Put it on tightening. Perfect. Now careful, I don't want to bend this. I mean, this is pretty strong, but I don't want to bend it. So hold it just like that. Brand new. Brand spanking new. All right, let's go over here. That's my dog. All right, now we're gonna set it, set our cam up here, just for now. Just hold it out of the way. Then get our our snips. Take that off. Still there. Good. Do All right, it it's, I'm good. Leave, leave it alone. It's good. Do leave it there. alone. Uh, here, here. All right, now come to the front of the engine. Okay. Now we want to get our cam get in there, and we want to make sure that mark lines up right with that dot right there. So I'm gonna get that. Where am I? Nope. You're off. But now, yeah. I don't even know. One more tooth. You didn't go anywhere. I could have sworn I did. Yeah. That looks hard to do. It's only hard when you're not astral. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to set this down. Set it down, dang it. Should have did this another way. Should have did it this way. You know what? I should take that one back out. Or, or better yet, that one, but this thing dropped down a little bit. All right, let me take that bullet. I can't believe I did it. Should have did this another way. Dang it. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm going to take this tension, this uh, guide. Back off of there. So. Okay. You 
try to hold this thing up and do this at the same time. That sucks. You know, I think I learned my lesson for the other side, though. Not to do this. Dang it. All right, let me loosen up this one now. Be right back. All right, I think I messed up here, guys. Because, okay, I'm to a point now where I got to bolt the cam down. And this cam is, the lobe is down on that valve. There is no way I'm going to be able to do that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this chain back off. And I'm going to set my cams down there. First, there's just no way I'll be able to do that. All right, so we're going to get all that off and we'll be right back. All right, got it off. I want to make sure my rockers are still into place. And I'm going to set my cam down. And good, see right there. Now all my lobes are down, so I'm great. So this, we're going to wipe these, get them, get a rag, and we're going to wipe that off. And we're going to get our bearing caps on, and then we're going to see what we have to be torqued down to. All right, and matter of fact, at the same time, we're going to be put our other side on, other cam on as well. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm tired of this. We took everything off from the front, all the chains and everything. It's got our gears lined up right here. And now we're gonna set our other cam in. We're gonna put these, both these, torque these cams down first. Did you have to change that gear? Oh, hey, that's right. I forgot I gotta change the gear. All right, we gotta go change the gear first. Let's go over here. Get our vice grips. Oops, where's our vice grips? There you go. Okay. Dang it, what the heck? All right. You want to leave the old gear on? No. Put a new gear on. Cool. There we go. Let's get this on. Set this on to the engine. Get our bearing caps and set them on, and then we're gonna talk these down to how, how, how many we're we gonna talk these down to? Uh, nine. We're, yeah, we're gonna look up in a minute. Let's get these caps on, and we'll be right back. Okay, we've got 97 inch pounds. Start from the center ones, and what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and bring this down just bring these down just a little bit because I want this cam to go down evenly. Because if you go and tighten down one end before the others. That thing will, them caps will crack. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure. First, I start bringing them down. All right. Now let's go ahead and tighten them up. 
too. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Just be added security. Let's go one more time. Cool. All right. We're going to do the other side and then we'll be right back. All right. We are looking good. Now, well, now we're looking good. <laughs> All, right. All right. Check it out. Um, hey, everybody make mistakes. So now we know, guys. Hopefully you, hopefully you wasn't following me with this video. I know because you right now, you're probably cursing me. I'll say, dang it. I got to take it apart again. But get them, keep them cams on there and we'll go from there. All right. The next thing we're going to do. Um, we got, let's turn this cam a little bit because this this is supposed to be like perpendicular right there along with the other one because the other one looks about right. That one looks good. So we're gonna take our same vice grips. I'm gonna grab it by the center. Same as what? Huh? Same as when what? we did when we changed the gear. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You know you go ahead and do it. I'm out of here. Come on, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> All right. So let's turn this. So it's right about there. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now, let's, let's, uh, I don't know. What the heck are we going to do first here? Uh, okay. Balance shaft is still lined up perfectly. Let's, um, get our, I don't know. Okay. Uh, you know, let's, uh, let's get the chain on. Heck with it. Get our chain on right here. And where's the mark at? You saw me putting the chain on backwards, right? You showing me. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Let's go around here. Let's get it hooked on to those two uh that mark inside there. Is that mark on? See it, man. The whole chain is the same. Heck no, it was off. There we go. All right. You got a light make sure that I got those on. Mm. Ah, forget it. I got this one. You <laughs> the light up here? Yeah, I see this one. This has got it. Mm -hmm. I know. It's right behind you. Oh. Here. I'm just showing the light now. I'm trying to... Oh, yeah. I reminded myself. Where? Where? Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Okay. Uh, where's the mark? Hmm? Kinda helps if I can find the mark. It's in there somewhere. Right there. Yeah, you see okay. it? Okay, cool. Somewhat. All right, so. You mean somewhat? Yeah, it's good. All right, let's go over here and get this one lined up. Nope. Okay, that one's lined up. And Sylvia said this one was lined up. Get the light. Again? You had it last. Oh my goodness, here. Dang it. 
bloody. What? All right, good. We're in there. All right, now that we got this side looking good, uh, let's um stick our top tensioner, top guide in. Let's see if we can we slide up this way so I don't make a mistake or something. Huh. Hey, why, why do we do this for the game? This looks like a lot easier. Huh? I don't say anything. I'm just the camera person. You're the one who says you're astral. That's right. That's right. I'm astral. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's go get these tightened up right here, and we'll be right back. Alright, we've got that one tightened up. The next thing I want to do is get my lower guide into there. Dang, this is much easier. Dang. Alright, let's get our T40. Get that. Is that easier to put the tensioner in first? Tell me what to do. Okay. Alright. Now, get my tensioner. I'm going to hold this up. Just like that. If something messes up here, I'm going to blame you for it. Well, I'm just saying, it's just now you got to hold that up and try to stick that in there and make it fit. Let's see, look at that, I ain't got no problem with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. At least I didn't have no problem. You don't have a problem. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Huh, right. Huh. You know, you know, this is, this don't mean, okay, I'll tell you what, we're going to use this little screwdriver here. Oh my God. <laughs> and we're gonna, that pin pop out. Here, let me turn that a little bit. Here. Yeah. We'll bring that up. See, and that's why they call us Astral. That's the reason, right there. You see that? That's why. He's like, Dang. You put the bolt in. Just how I put the bolt in. I'm not just putting the bolt in. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, gotta make sure that pin right there. Okay, tighten that up. Tighten that up. Alright, now I'm gonna tighten up my T40 and we'll be right back. Ready? Oh, tell me. Just tell me where we're going. Tell me. The bird was singing, so you can hear. Okay. Let's get this chain down in here. At least this one's easier to mark, set the marks at. Because you can see it? Yeah. yeah. Alright, got that one on. Let's go over here. <laughs> he said, oh, right. That's right. Quagmire. Dang it. Huh. What have you done? Huh? I don't know. I gotta turn it. I gotta put the vice grips on that. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Just so I can turn it. Yeah, there we go. We lined up good. That's perfect. All right, guys. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our guides pushed in here. I don't want to bore you with all that. So we'll get that in, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Let's put this cover back in here. All right, take off our vice grips. And we are timed great. We are perfect in. Last but not least, we got our short chain, brand new short chain, and a brand new upper gear. Jack Bowel. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that. That got a dot right on the top. That's gonna go facing straight up. I go straight down. No, straight up. Straight down. Straight up. The one on the bottom goes straight down. Why she arguing? Oh, that's yeah. not the one on the bottom. See, oh. see, see what happens. Okay. All right. My apologies. So, let's go over here, and down here we got one that's lined up right on the mark right there, and we, we'll, you know, cause that right now, that looks like it's kind of off. Hey, why that look like it ain't going on over here? All right, so we're gonna have to do is turn this cam crankshaft a little bit to line up with that. We wanna make sure, okay, this has gotta turn a little bit also, cause we want this, the little, it's got a little indentation. This right here, it's got a little indentation right there, a bigger gear, bigger tooth than the rest of them. So, so that's lined up right there. So what we're gonna do, have to do is turn this just a little bit. By this camera over here, and I need to turn this back just a little bit to make sure that's directly even up. All right. It looks like you can go a little more. Huh? Looks like you can go a little more. But no, it's good because actually it's supposed to be off a little bit because oh. I'm getting off on the mark back there. So, hmm. dang it. So what we're gonna have to do here is turn back just a little bit okay now what I'm gonna do is put the bolt in the crank and I'm gonna tighten that up so we can adjust that back and forth bear back all right now let's get up there Let's get this lined up there. All right. And what we're gonna do here is, let's see, which way that guy turned? It looks like I'm going by a little bit. Everything goes in evenly. Perfect. Man, that is perfect. Look at that. All right, now let's go get our little retainer ring that goes right there so we can put it around there and keep that in place. Be right back. All right, the last thing we got, this little spring ring, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> and what it does, if you focus in real close in there, there's a little groove right in the back of there. Yeah. That we gotta... Get that thing on there and get, get it wrapped around. Go in there. Dang it, I should have got a little flat screwdriver. Anyway. And we gotta get a, we get a flat screwdriver. Oh, I'm gonna actually do it with my hands. And walk it around. All right, let me get a screwdriver and I'll be right back. All right, now let's start this all over. Screwdriver this time. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is cool. Everything is on. Now for the final part pull out the springs. Pull out the 
The rings. Oh, what the heck? Come on, get the phone out of here. One, two, three. Done. Everything is perfectly lined up. All the marks are. We are looking good. We are looking real good. All right. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Last three things we're going to do here. First of all, let me make sure that I did tighten up that bolt right there. Let's put our 29 millimeter bolt back in here. Let's tighten that up. Okay. Next, we got our camshaft positioning sensor right over here. We've got a 10 millimeter bolt holding it in. So we're gonna push that up in there, twist it and turn it. Get that in there. And I'm gonna use my 10 millimeter deep quarter inch drive. What I also like about quarter inch drive is that you can't really over tighten things. Especially when they're going into aluminum. Okay, snug that up. Great, lined up right with the wheel. That's perfect. Last but not least, we gotta get our timing chain idler pulley, the bolt. Remember, we gotta tighten that up. And that's torqued down to 25 foot pounds. And I couldn't do it before because I wanted to chain everything on it so it stops it from turning. Twenty-five foot pounds, perfect, great. You definitely don't want to over tighten that. You over tighten that, and that bolt comes off, and that spring comes off. That whole thing is gonna walk right off and tear the whole cover up and everything. All right, this is looking perfect. I am very happy with this. I know you guys can't wait to see how it runs. Right, Sivy? Right. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so that's the end of part sixteen. So Jack and I are ready to go home. So we're gonna just. Close up shop. He giving you the crooked lip. Yeah, he said. He said we're done. I'm done. I'm out of here. I gotta go. All right. So, uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post them below in the comment section, or you can email Timmy at tim at astroautorepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.